SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Fashion to me is an expression of self, who you are. I think um, you can tell a lot about somebody by the person's fashion, what she wears. So I, you can tell a lot about, it's the way you express yourself. Fashion is to me. Hello, my name is Amede Mzeribel. Welcome to my Fashion Insider. Fashion has always been my dream. I've always wanted to be a fashion designer right from as far back as when I was like six years old. And um, my parents actually urged me to study law and I went ahead. They were in support saying, okay, you could go and study law and do whatever you want to do in the end. So um, the Amede label started when I was in university studying law and um, I had my clothes, I made clothes for mostly working class women and I carried this on in law school, selling my clothes. Then eventually when I got out of law school and uh, got married, uh, it became a bit of a struggle on deciding whether I wanted to, to actually pursue my law profession or go into the fashion full time. And you know, back then, it, it's not what it is today where fashion designers were asked, are respected more now than it was before. You know, people ask you, do you want to just dump your law degree and become a tailor? You know, but I, I looked at it as something that I, I wanted to, I pictured myself waking up on a Monday morning what would I be excited doing? And I thought I would be excited, you know, putting up my next design. And I knew that um, um, practicing law wouldn't be fulfilling for me and I wouldn't be happy doing it. So I said, okay, 2001, that was when I launched my company, Amede & Co Limited, and the rest is, history. I, I have enjoyed the journey and um, you know it's been very fulfilling. Um, I actually launched the Amelia label, um, registered my company Amelia and Co Limited in 2001. Um, that was I had started um, um, designing my own fabrics and um, using the tie-dye and batik techniques which is um, commonly known as adire um, here and um, it was something I stumbled into I was you know going around the streets of Akerele here in Lagos and um, I discovered that I saw the same designs all the time and I called one of the dyers, I said, why is it that you keep churning out the same fabric design? He said, well, that's what people demand. I said, okay, if I give you a few sketches of my design, will you be able to say, yes, yes, as long as the colors blend, I'll let you know. So there and then, I bought a bundle of fabric and gave him my designs. And it started there, but I looked down on it initially because I, I thought I needed to go purchase some really exotic fabrics. But I, I found out that my clients always pointed to the direction of clothes that had my fabric design. So I saw myself creating a niche for myself and my fabric design became my signature. So I said to myself, why? So I stopped purchasing fabrics, you know, that I found locally or internationally, I just concentrated on making sure I design my fabrics because when I'm designing my fabrics, I already have the design, the style in mind. So that's how I've continued up to date. Okay, um, the Amelia woman is um, a woman who is um, self-confident, 
who is comfortable in her own skin and um, it's basically timeless. She's not following the trend. She's, she's, she's comfortable with who she is. I was recently featured um, in the British Vogue, um, July 2014, and um, it was followed by Glamour, August, September, and October, then by Harper's Bazaar in September, and also Vogue again in September, and um, the Condé Nance Traveler for uh, November and December, and also Earl December. 2014. Um, it's been uh, very rewarding. It's like a dream come true for me to be recognized by international magazines such as this because, you know, I look through those pages and I, you know, I'm in awe and being mentioned in any of them, you know, it's, it's a dream come true for me. The um, reaction from the international um, um, scene has been, you know, very rewarding, especially they, they're, they're very, um, they love the fabric that is used, they love the cuts, you know, the simplicity of the designs and the, the fact that it's easy to wear as well. Well, um, some of the challenges we face, the usual, um, you know, power, problems we face, killed labor, but I've been very fortunate with my, my staff and the team that I work with. It hasn't been an easy process, but it's, um, it's something um, that I love to do. Somehow, you know, God makes a way for us to, to forge on. And um, for my fabric design, it's, it's quite tedious because it's handmade. For batik, if you're if we're designing using the batik technique, for example, you have to actually um, draw on the fabric. The artists draw on the fabric, then they have the candle wax, which they actually put on the fabric to block the wax. Then the wax, the process over and over again, and to get all the bright colors. And most times we, we come into, there are lots of mistakes and you have to discard a lot of fabric. But at the end of the day, what really matters to me is that, you know, the fabric comes out the way you want it and that's the rewarding part of it. My advice to aspiring um, designers, young aspiring designers, they should um, be patient and um, uh, I, I've seen that most of them are in a hurry. You know, it's, it's something that, first of all, you have to have the passion for. You have to love what you do, because if you don't, it becomes difficult. But if you love what you do, you have your dream. Steadily, you'll get there, but you know, the, the, the rush, I've seen a, a, lot, a, a lot of rush in our youths to get somewhere. It's, um, you have to start and know that you can't have it all from the beginning. There's, there's a ladder that you climb and, you know, to get there. Um, I'm hoping for their medal label to be seen and bought all over the world. That's what I'm looking at. Hi guys, if you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now. And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.